Hi, so I'm backstage at Bocelli and I thought I would do something I've never done. I thought I would do kind of a practice, diary practice log because sometimes I do these strange arrangements or I change things and I thought I'd go through some of the changes I've made in Zaguner Weizen and explain why. So the first little change I made in Zaguner Weizen, it's very, very minor. So this is mostly just for the violinists that kind of know the piece. Um, this first big dramatic flourish in the piece. <laughs> Um, most people play it really short, uh, or just kind of a, they just kind of hit it, which sounds great, but I'm really scared that I'm going to like, just with nerves and it being cold possibly in some of these big arenas, I'm afraid that I won't have really good control at the very beginning of the performance to just, you know, just to hit it really quick and little. So it seems easier for me if I just relax and do a longer bow. <laughs> Or something like that. Um, yeah, so that's the first little change. Now the next little change is, so we have to do a cut version of this piece because I don't have time to play a seven or nine minute piece in the program. So we're making it like a four-ish minute. So we're cutting out a lot of the intro. Um, I actually kind of didn't want to, but the conductor and I go back and forth and kind of just compromise and work it out. So I'm gonna do the very first line and then we go to the lento section. But it felt weird to do the dramatic flourish <coughs> to, and then not really do anything before the melody came in. So I added this little transitional phrase. <laughs> Which of course you'll recognize um, ends the kind of the way that first section normally ends. Um, kind of with that G major crazy arpeggios, I'm not gonna go up to the high wind, whatever it does, because I'm scared I'm gonna miss it. It's the beginning of the piece. I don't, that'll freak me out the whole piece if I miss that, so not worth the risk. <laughs> so then we're gonna play kind of the first little lento section, the fourth lento section, and after the, and then um, I'm not really changing much in there. I'm doing, I'm freeing up some bowings just because I, I feel more relaxed when I can move the bow and I don't feel like I'm cramped especially with nerves it helps me relax um so at the very end um i'm oh we're skipping the slow section so at the very end i'm gonna do that run um just to kind of have that section feel more final for the fast part fast part I didn't change too much. I did change a few bowings, like in this part. It's normally, which I don't know. It's just easier for me to play slurred. It just feels a little more relaxed. So that's my plan. I guess I could change it before tonight. Um, but that's my plan on that. Also, I did change the rhythm. In this part, um, <laughs> Instead of doing an eighth note, I'm going to do a quarter note. So, I think you get the idea. I'm trying to do the second time more smooth. So, I feel like that accomplishes that goal. The craziest change I made in Zaguner Weizen was I just swapped out an entire little eight bar virtuoso phrase. You know that one? That one, I'm, instead of that, I'm just gonna do this little arpeggio. Uh, <laughs> I almost forgot what I was gonna play. I guess it's good that I forgot it now, not later. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I feel like we just came from a pizzicato variation. I just wanted to change it up and do something that would be fun and look flashy and work at any tempo because sometimes you can plan to play a piece of tempo. Uh oh, I better go by.